news from my prince. I can't wait to hear about his latest adventure. <laughs> my Rose. Fox and I continue to follow the snake. Our pursuit has taken us to extraordinary planets across the galaxy. But the last one we visited was truly unique. By the way, I've been thinking about what we could do after we rid the universe of the snake. We could grow baobabs or become sheep herders. I don't know what we'll do, but whatever it is, I have the sneaking suspicion it won't be for a while. Look, over there! Another planet the snake is trying to destroy. Woohoo! Another planet void of any signs of life at all. Show some patience, Fox. You know very well that there must be a door somewhere. Oh yeah? Then where is it? Hey, what's that? Oh. A giant die. Maybe someone wants to play with us. You think so? Let's just roll it. That is what it's meant for. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. D444. So what kind of planet do you think this is? I don't know. Hopefully the planet of luck. Let's open the door and find out. Either way, the die has been cast. It's so steep, I can hardly hold on! Where are we, the planet of mountains? I'm not sure, but the whole planet seems to be leaning. Uh, okay, I'm not budging an inch from here. You got lucky, Fox. I've never seen anything like it. The planet just tilted without any warning. You don't have to tell me. I was the one who almost rolled off the edge. I'd like to get an explanation, but that means we'll have to find someone first. I don't know who or what that is, but something's making a terrible racket over there. <sighs> well, at least we're not alone. City on wheels. You don't see that every day. But what's with the square wheels? Are these people still stuck in the dark ages? Faster, Cubians! We're nearing the edge! It looks like they're rushing to get to the top of the plane. Not again! Hurry! Fetch a spare wheel at once! <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? There are no spares. I'll have to catch up to the palace and ask Griffin for help. Oh, Griffin! Hmm? I beg of you, please grant us a new wheel so that we may reclaim our place in the Great March. Lieutenant. See to his request. Bring forth the new wheel! Thank you for your kindness. Your generosity knows no bounds, my lord. They'd better change that wheel and fast. The others haven't even slowed down for them. I can't figure it out. Why are they in such a hurry? Long live Griffin! Glory to our Savior! 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 Long live Griffin! These people are easily impressed. Aren't they overdoing it a bit? He only gave them a wheel and a square one at that. But at least now they can catch up with the others. Fox, look! There's another building lagging behind. Why is it going so slowly? Hurry up, you lazy lummoxes! Put your backs into it! Come help us instead of screaming like a bully! You know two of us have fallen ill! I'm the foreman, you insolent cart pusher! My job's to keep the rhythm and ensure we arrive on time. Now faster! Can't you see that we're all exhausted? Great polygon! The planetary shift's begun! Quit your jabbering and get moving! 
Nomads aren't having very much luck. We're done for. Come on, tough guy. Don't just stand there. Do something. It's terrible. They're so far ahead. There isn't enough time to get a new wheel. We must abandon the building. Evacuate! Bring everything you can carry! I've had enough of you ordering us around. This is your fault. Excuse huh? me? Huh? Your wheels don't seem to be very reliable. <laughs> Hi, don't mind him. He just loves joking around with people stranded in the desert. <laughs> He's a woodlouse! <gasps> He's come to drag us underground and hand us over to Zeom! No, wait! Come back! Don't be scared. I want to help you. Stay where you are, woodlouse, or else... It's okay, don't be afraid. What's your name? Uh... I'm the Little Prince. This is Fox. Mm -hmm. We're from B612. Yeah. My name is Shania. I'm sorry if I scared you, but I honestly don't know anything about Jaom or Woodlice. We'd like to offer you our help. That'd be... uh... That's kind of you, but I don't know what you could do to help us. Well, I could fix your wheel, for starters. <laughs> How did you do that? Oh, this boy's a sorcerer! But these are not wheels! Why did you make them this strange shape? Is this some kind of trick? No, not at all. I promise you, I really want to help. Just try them. Hmm. It's true. You can trust us. Honest, they'll work like a charm. Huh. How can these things possibly replace our wheels? Hmm. I guess we could try. Oh, we're going so much faster. This is incredible. Thank you, little prince. Way to go. You're about to catch up with the pack. The sorcerer falls from the sky with magical wheels? It's not normal. I must warn Griffin. It's amazing. We're moving ten times faster. Maybe you could help free our people from the horrible Jeom and the grueling Great March as well. Sure, I'll do my best, but... Who is this jail? Our elders tell us that long ago, our people lived in harmony, on the original side. Jaom was one of us. He was our land surveyor. And as the story goes, he's the one who discovered that our planet is a cube. Oh, so your planet is a cube. That explains why you're rushing to get to the other side. We don't have a choice. If we fail to reach the other side before the planet tips, we'll fall into space. And Jaom's to blame for all this. He's completely crazy. Crazy? No. But one day Jaom informed our people that he dug a shaft right down to the heart of the planet, and that he'd created a machine capable of making it tip. What do you mean, capable of making it tip? Are you saying a machine is causing your planet to turn? Exactly. It's because he wanted to survey all six sides, and we were forced to go along with it, or else... Into the vacuum of space we go. Thankfully, our leader Erwan immediately opposed this madness. He called a vote, and the Cubian people agreed to forbid Jaom from activating his machine. The Cubians had no desire to leave their land or their homes. Something tells me there's a lot more to this story. Indeed. Jaom became so upset with Erwan and the Cubian people's decision that he hired a special army to protect him. We call them the Woodlice. Then, he locked himself up in his workshop, which promptly sank and disappeared into the center of our world. And as soon as he activated his machine, the planet started to turn. And it's been turning ever since. This is how the evil Jaom condemned his own people to a never-ending march. It's pretty clear to me who's responsible for this whole situation. That lunatic wanted to ruin us all. Thankfully, Griffin was there. Griffin was our carpenter. And after Erwan's sudden disappearance, Griffin was the one who stepped forward and saved our planet. He invented the wheels to transport our homes. Without him, there would be no Cubion. I can't wait for you to meet him. Oh, 
Griffin. It is my sworn duty to inform you of a most strange occurrence. A strange occurrence? Well, what is it? How can they move that fast? What sorceries at work here? So this is an example of your leadership, committing a mockery at my expense! We cannot delay the march any longer. Rid us of this insolence or you shall be relieved. As you wish, my lord. Halt! That's an order! You'll make us late for the tipping. No! Don't let go! What happened? Ah, uh, well, you see, that's the thing about using round wheels. They roll. Show them what you can do, my friend. Lord Griffin, the hour has come. Shall I sound the alarm? Mm-hmm. It's flat. Somehow the mountain we were on has become a plain. Good. Time is on our side again. See to it that the people are fed, my lord. <sighs> Thanks again for coming to our aid, little prince. I think I've seen enough square things for a lifetime. A square planet, square wheels, and... <gasps> A square meal? Thanks. Thank Griffin. It is he who gives us the fruit. Guards, bring me the sorcerer. Huh? Me? And replace those diabolical wheels with normal wheels immediately. But of course, Lord Griffin. Don't move, strangers. Hey! But why, Griffin? He's a noble sorcerer. He saved our lives. He came here to help us. Cubians! I provide you with wheels. I feed you. And I protect you from harm. You may believe I should set this sorcerer free, but there's no doubt in my mind he was sent by the Woodlights. He almost made us lose a caravan. But, no, you're wrong. Let's get him. Wait, listen to me. I'm not a Woodlouse. Griffin, please just think about it. I know you like to talk your way out of things, but I think your words are falling on deaf ears. What are you looking at, Woodlouse? Get your greasy mitts off of my fur. Hey, watch it. I just had herbal shampoo and rinse. Don't I get a phone call? Let me go. Only the young sorcerer is allowed to enter. Hmm? You'd better behave. Approach without fear, my dear boy. I don't intend you any harm. Perhaps I was moderately harsh with you earlier, but I'll be the first to admit that I'm rather impressed with your heroics. Oh? Well, I'm equally impressed with the grandeur of this palace. <laughs> what would you say about a potential collaboration? In exchange, I could make you a powerful king. Oh, well, being a little prince is enough for me, but all right. We should unite forces. It's the best way to find Jaom and to stop his machine. <laughs> you fail to appreciate the gravity of the situation, my young friend. Jaom thought of everything. 
once the rotation of the planet began, he ensured that no one could ever again set foot on the original side where the entrance to his hideout is located. <sighs> planet Cubion always revolves in the same direction. We never land on the side we once called home, which is now on the vertical side and therefore inaccessible. The Great March will never end. Do you understand? Your magic would prove a welcome mm. boost in aiding my people's plight of hauling heavy loads each day. Now that you know my mind, do you accept my generous offer? No. I'll only use my magic to end their suffering, not prolong it. Why do you resign yourselves to such a fate? There must be an easier solution to your problem. Such a shame. Guards, arrest this misguided fool and lock him up with his little <sighs> woodlouse friend. You know where to find me if ever you should change your mind. This isn't fair! I've always been loyal to Griffin! I have nothing to do with the wood lice! Don't complain to me. If you're unhappy, speak to this new friend of yours. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> Authorized rest period is over! Huh? Forward march! Uh, how are we gonna get ourselves out of this mess? Uh, maybe I could chew through the bars. Uh, uh, this is all your fault! I never had any trouble in my whole life before I met you! I'm really sorry, Shania, but Griffin is acting very strangely. One minute he's setting the Cubians against me, and the next he's proposing an alliance in secret. I don't believe you. You must have misunderstood. He probably just wanted you to help free us from the curse. It's true. I offered to help him find Jaom, but he just laughed at me. And when I insisted, he got angry. I'm starting to doubt whether or not he even wants the Great March to end. How can you say such a thing to me? That proves you're just a liar! Listen to your heart, Shania. All I've done so far is try to help you. And I'm pretty sure that Griffin is hiding something. Please, you must trust me. Did you guys see that? Well done, Fox. You're the best. I try. I have to get back to Griffin's office. What are you doing? <laughs> Experimenting with this new shape. Griffin's orders. Huh? Keep quiet. Make haste. There isn't much time to verify that these new wheels will work. Coast is clear. Let's check Griffin's office. <sighs> A scale model of our planet. I was so young, I barely remember the original side. Huh? <laughs> Don't be sad. Look, I can entertain you and make you laugh. Watch. <laughs> I really hate to think what you'd all do without me. Amazing! Uh, huh? It's a scale model of Shaom's mining shaft and machine! Incredible! So, he really installed it in the heart of the planet. By manipulating the planet's core, he makes it tip. Huh. Hang on, I think I see something back here. What is it? A key? <gasps> Shania, what's wrong? Look there! It's Jaom's signature. All these objects belong to him. How can they possibly be here? Good question, <gasps> little snoop. Shania! Uh, no! Don't make things worse. A snake warned me of your arrival, but you're not so dangerous after all. Griffin! You're the one the snake bit. You're under his control. It's not Jaom. Why do you have the key to his machine? Where is he? Tell me! Uh, be particularly wary of this one, my dear friend. If you're not mindful, he just might deter you from your glorious destiny. 
Don't listen to him, Griffin. Resist his words. They're like a poison which confuses the mind. Think of your people and their suffering. Griffin, no, it's not possible. You, you were our savior, our leader. I still am. <laughs> my people love and respect me. I'll lead them until my body no longer permits it. As for you, I'll see to it that you cannot interfere in my plans ever again. Sorcerer and Shawnee the traitor have escaped and are returning to the Woodlice. Shawnee? The Woodlouse? Who would have guessed? Let them be cursed forever! Congratulations, Griffin. No one will question your ability to leave now. us to the mercy of the great tipping we'll drift into space oh, you've got a plan right little prince please tell me this isn't how our story's gonna end my prince about to be hurled into space oh no